Life is a process. When I graduated college, I thought that I would be able to get out of college, get a really good job, stop being single, find a girl, and you know, things would be going great. But what I found that that was not the case, um, and regardless of how many awards I won when I was a senior in high school, I won a lot of things, I did a lot of things, I won a lot of places. Um, I got a full tuition scholarship to Bard College in upstate New York. I majored in Asian Studies and Anthropology. I was speaking some Japanese. I just said, hello, my name is Jordan. Pleasure to meet you. Um, I also majored in Anthropology. I thought that was really exciting learning about culture. You know, but that's neither here nor there. I had a lot of experiences and I did a lot of really cool things. But I graduated last May. And over this past year, I did not just go, I, I got a degree in Christian studies, so I didn't just go straight into the ministry, you know, working with the church. What ended up happening was I doubted my faith and I felt like I couldn't be in ministry. And actually this past February, I told one of my, my Bible study leader that I can't be a Christian anymore. I said, I can't do this. I mean, no girls want to talk to me. I feel so alone. Like, I can't stop. I can't figure out what I want to do in life. I just felt like nothing was working out, no matter what I tried. And, I, you know, I just wasn't going to get anywhere. That's where I was a few months after graduation. A few months after I threw off my cap and yelled and all this type of stuff, you know, I went to a private Christian school, you know, and you'd think that the career office would be able to um, kind of steer you in the right direction right away. And they pretty much told me, you know, look at the job opportunities. Uh, have you checked Indeed? You know, I had one of them ask me that. Uh, I did get some help with my resume, so I'm not saying like, don't go to your career counselor or anything like that. I'm just saying, a career office isn't like this magical place where you walk in, you say what type of job you want, and then you get it. That's not how that works, at least not for me. You know, don't don't discount building those relationships while you're still in class, and don't wait until you graduate and then you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Um, if you can help it, and you know, you know, try to build that network. But all I'm saying to you is my experience is just. Graduating and having to, you know, make it work, having to pay bills, having to deal with um, roommate issues, having to deal with uh, struggling with my faith. Um, I spent a lot of money in places that I probably shouldn't have spent money in. I didn't know that when you make money, you probably should save a little and not just do what you want so much so that every by the end of every month you don't know what the next step is and sometimes you have to call people for money like i had to do that a couple of times and you know it's really embarrassing i didn't have a mom to stay with we're actually not talking right now um my mom actually lives in a completely different state than i do so you know i didn't really have like that family support and I'm not really going to church right now either, so I just, I had to deal with life for what it is, not on my own because I've always had a support system, but it was not as smooth a transition as I would have liked it to be, um, but I, I learned a lot. So I'll just define to you kind of what my past year was like. I was pretty much just trying to live up to the expectations of my mom and my mentors and my youth pastor, who actually hasn't talked to me for years now and didn't come to my graduation. That still hurts me a lot, but um, yeah, I, I, I was trying to live up to these expectations that you know I didn't really have for myself and I didn't necessarily want for myself, and that is. It's so hard to do that, you know. If 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 you if you're passionate about one thing, 
and everyone else is passionate for you to do something that you really could care less about or don't want to have anything to do with, trying to do that as an adult is just like, it's so hard because you never feel like you're good enough. And if you never feel like you're good enough for them, that eventually can translate into you not feeling good enough for you. And if you never feel good enough for you, that can play out into your relationships with other people and can affect your opportunities, career, romantically, friendship. I mean, it can just, having a low self-esteem is just so bad. And trying to live up to other people's expectations of you is in a lot of ways toxic, even if those people care about you. Um, now, as far as how to live with that, that's gonna depend on the person. I can't tell you what to do. All I can say is that it is extremely difficult to live by the expectations of other people. It is so hard to do, especially if your heart's not in it. If your heart's not in it, then you're probably not gonna be interested. About a month and a half ago, I decided that I want to figure out what I want to do and set a goal that I care about and not that other people tell me that I should do or this is your destiny or this is what God called you to do or anything like that. I'm just setting a goal that, that I care about doing for myself. I know this definitely goes against, you know, Sunday school and church and all that, but this is just a decision that I had to make. I decided that I want to learn Japanese again. So I'm kind of redoing that. I'm planning on starting a Japanese club in my area. So that's the second thing. And then I'm also learning how to draw. There's this particular girl that I think is awesome from this 2004 anime called Girls Bravo. Uh, I'll put her right here. She's amazing. And I wanna be able to update her currently. Like, you know, give her a modern look. She looks kind of kind of old. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kinda give her a little bit of a makeover. Um, that's why I'm trying to learn how to draw. So um, those are kind of the things that I'm doing right now. And I didn't ask anybody like, hey, do you think I should learn Japanese again? Like, is that good? I'm doing it because I want to learn it. Like, I want to go to Japan. I want to be able to listen to the music that I love, which is called Idol Master. If you've never heard of it, link in the description. Um, I want to be able to listen to my favorite genre of music without having to look up a lyric translation, all this type of stuff. I'd like to be able to actually engage with my favorite genre of music, which hasn't changed for the past five, six years. Um, I'm learning how to draw because there's an anime girl that I'd love to see updated. I don't know who would recommend me to do that. That's just something that I want to do. I have lived this past year and most of my life pretty much just trying to do what other people have told me to do and that I should do. And I would stress myself out, feeling horrible that I'm not this perfect, you know, Bible child, you know, in church you know, on Sunday morning and then on Wednesday night, and you know, I'm praying three times a day, and, you know, like Daniel, all this type of stuff. And, you know, that's great. But when I thought that, like, I had to be that in order to be a good person, that really damaged my self-esteem and my self-worth. And I'm honestly still struggling with my faith as far as that's concerned now still. Um, because I just, you know, I've always felt like, you know, I'm not good enough because I'm not this way. You know, I'm, I'm not doing this. You know, I don't have a 4.0 GPA. You know, I, I'm not working a salaried position right out of college. Um, I'm not doing, like, all these types of things. Like, I'm not, 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 not. But I think a better question to ask is, what are you doing? Like, what have you done? What have you accomplished? And... You gotta ask me and I'll end on this. I'll just tell you, over this past year, probably the best thing I've done is I've been a good friend to a good many people. And I'm proud of that.